Again, before, if you're a CCNA, it's almost 100% to get hired as a network engineer or network administrator. Nowadays, if you are CCNA, you might end up, or this is very common, if you're a CCNA, they don't hire just CCNA or only CCNA for network engineering position, especially if you're young, if you don't have any experience. Most of the CCNA are hired as a help desk, which is considered to be the loser IT position. Again, before, if you're a CCNA, it's almost 100% to get hired as a network engineer or network administrator. Networks have been around for, for a long time, but for the, the, the prevalence of every company having usually Cisco networking equipment and having quite a lot of it and needing a permanent member of staff, at least one, even for smaller organizations to actually look after that, meant that a lot of organizations were really hiring a network engineer for the first time. And there was a real high demand for people with networking skills. In fact, there was more jobs than there was people available to fill them, which is why you could get a network engineer job with the CCNA and not really having any experience yet. The way things are now is that things have moved on, it's not like there's companies that are putting in new networks normally and they don't already have experienced members on staff. You're going to start lower down and then you work your way up. And then once you've got that, because you've already got the CCNA, you're already ahead of the other people on help desk that don't have CCNA. So when a position does come up on the networking team, then you're going to be the one that gets it. Or if that doesn't happen, you can move to another company once you've got maybe a year's experience on help desk, and then you can move into maybe a junior network engineer position, and then you can work your way up from there.